Well, hi there, folks. It's Matt Hayson here looking at all the interesting things impacting and unfolding around the Sydney property market this week. Well, let's start with the final auction clearance rate because, again, it was pretty weak, coming through at 45.6% reported by SQM Research. Now, this was dragged down by a very poor midweek clearance rate sitting at just 40% and some pretty big volumes as well with 1,359 properties up for auction. Now this week, also here's a very interesting stat that I wanted to share with you. It was shared to me with buyers agent John Carew from Mayfield Property Buyers and that is 16% of current sellers on the market right now only purchased their property three years ago. Can you believe it? This is not normal real estate practice and a direct reflection of how this high rate environment is impacting certain homeowners. It also shines a light on the irresponsible commentary from the former RBA governor, Philip Lowe, who just three years ago, unsurprisingly, confidently assured Australians that rates would not be increased until 2024. He also doubled down and said that inflation would be transitionary in Australia. Well, both forecasts turned out to be obscenely wrong, and now we're seeing the direct impact on homeowners who ran off that advice. Also around the markets this week, we're seeing increased buyer activity as new listings do hit that 10 year high and buying options, well, they are vast. Our strongest open home last week was this sensational home in one McDonald Street in Balmain. Just to give you an insight on that, 56 individual buyer inspections. Also, this week we've got a hot auction. It's over at 54A Mary Street in Hunters Hill. That gets underway at 9.45 on Saturday. And then one of our most popular homes, to give you some more insight into the business of the market, was 164 Mullen Street in Roselle with over 100 buyer inspections in just two weeks. Also this week, some potentially good news for borrowers with the mortgage wars potentially kicking off again in order to woo over customers. Now Macquarie Bank has been having a big crack in this space and gaining momentum in the mortgage area. Now Macquarie Bank are trying their hand at wooing customers with a two year fixed rate at just 5.39%. Now typically, Fixed rates are not that popular in Australia, but with markets pricing in future rate cuts, this could certainly appeal to some homeowners who are currently on a higher mortgage level. Also staying on rates, RBA Governor Michelle Buller continues to hose down any notion of a pre-Christmas rate cut, but the ground is shifting quickly. This week, CBA have broken ranks from the other major banks and are backing a pre-Christmas rate cut, most likely at the December 10 meeting, which will be the final RBA meeting for the year. So that's the wrap for this week, folks. We're seeing a real spike in homes coming onto the market and some wonderful buying opportunities available as well. Our entire team looks forward to seeing you out and about. Thanks for watching, and I'm gonna catch you all next week.